Today I wanted to go over how to find the area of a rectangle uh, specifically if um, if it is in uh, if the length and width are in um, fractions or mixed numbers. So this is actually not too complicated. So the length or the equation for area is just length times width. Uh, I'm, well, area of a rectangle or a square, right? So that means all we have to do to find the area is just multiply these two numbers. How do we multiply these two numbers? Well, I would say your best bet would be to, you could use the area method. I'm going to, or um, I'm going to use the um, changing this into an improper fraction. So to do that, one times three equals three plus one equals four. So then I'm going to do four thirds times three fourths. Obviously, uh, this is not to scale. I should have probably switched to these because one and one third is bigger than three fourths, but obviously for my drawing, this is showing is bigger. Besides the point, uh, and since it's multiplication, it doesn't matter which one is length or which one is width, right? Because technically width times length equals area two. They give you the same thing, so it doesn't even matter. Now we have four times three equals 12. Three times four equals 12. So we have 12 over 12. So that means that the area of this uh, rectangle would be 12 over 12 units, which is just one. Um, and technically, if this was, let's just say these were centimeters, it would actually be one centimeter squared uh, because uh, area is um, squared, basically. Uh, now, another thing just to point out quickly, uh, <laughs> I'm going to try to draw a better square than that. This one looks slightly more squarish. So if there's a problem where they only give you one side, right? Let's just say it is um, 3 fourths. And they say uh, one side of this square is 3 fourths. Then we know all four sides of a square are the same. So that means that all we're going to do is we can think about it like this, but the area just becomes 3 fourths times 3 fourths. Which equals 3 times 3 is 9, 4 times 4 is 16. So it would be 9 sixteenths, and if this was uh, let's actually make this one inches. Sorry. So three fourths of an inch. This would be nine sixteen inches squared. Um, so I just wanted to point out that if they say it's a square and they only give you one side, that's because it just means when it's a square that length and width are the same. So this is how we find area um, with fractions as the sides or mixed numbers.